I'm Tracy Ryman, and here's PETA's news for June. After the U.S. Department of Agriculture announced it was considering reducing the frequency of inspections and contracting these inspections of laboratories, puppy mills, zoos, and other animal industries to third-party interest groups, PETA came out swinging against this misguided proposal through a lawsuit, written comments, and appearances at USDA meetings, and good news, the agency scrapped the proposal. When people think about experiments on animals, strawberries and grapes aren't what comes to mind. The California's Strawberry and Table Grape Commissions were conducting painful and deadly experiments on mice until PETA got involved. After we made the case that the commissions were tormenting and killing animals in experiments that were inapplicable to human health and not required by law, both boards agreed to switch to funding relevant animal-free tests instead. We released PETA Asia's groundbreaking investigation of 12 Angora goat farms and a slaughterhouse in South Africa, the world's top mohair producer, which revealed that workers dragged, roughly handled, threw around, mutilated, and even cut the throats of fully conscious goats as they cried out. More than 140 retailers have since banned mohair, including Gap and Banana Republic, H&M, Forever 21, Anthropology, Topshop, Marks and & Spencer, and many more, sparing countless goats' untold suffering. It was another big month for corporate victories. Canadian dollar store chain Bucker 2 Plus agreed to ban the sale of glue traps at all of its nearly 50 locations. Maserich, the third largest owner and operator of shopping centers in the U.S., will for the second year in a row show videos warning shoppers about the dangers of leaving animals in hot cars. After hearing from PETA, Young Living, a major essential oil company that sells worldwide, stopped sponsoring Iditarod musher Mitch Seavey and his son, also a musher, and agreed to never again associate with the Iditarod or any dog sledding activities. We convinced Chinese herbal medicine company TCM Zone to stop selling Ejao, which is made from gelatin extracted from bludgeoned donkey's hides, and Swiss outdoor retailer K-Juice to ban fur. This company sells in over 1,000 stores in more than 30 countries, including the U.S. In another major animals and entertainment victory, the abusive traveling act The Great Bear Show has shut down after a vigorous PETA campaign and all five bears have been released to a reputable sanctuary. This victory follows eyewitness videos, complaints to authorities about the bears' conditions, and nearly 200,000 PETA members and supporters who urged fairs and venues to drop their plans to host the cruel act. We caused a nationwide media sensation when PETA, represented by Electronic Frontier Foundation, filed a federal lawsuit against Texas A&M University challenging the school's use of a filter on its official Facebook page, which automatically deletes visitor posts and comments if they contain words such as PETA, cruelty, lab, and other terms associated with our campaign against the school's muscular dystrophy experiments on dogs. The school has since admitted to the filters and PETA won't stop until everyone who wishes to speak up for these dogs has their First Amendment rights restored. These are just a few of the many victories that PETA accomplished in June. Be sure to stay up to date with everything that we do by visiting PETA.org often. Thank you for making these victories for animals possible.